Okay, James, not in its original box, but gadget number three. The cloche is doing its job. I can't see what it is. Oh, first impressions, what is it? Heavy. It's good quality. Does heavy mean quality? Not in Jamie's case. <laughs> 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 Touché, Ebers, but I will have my vengeance. What, what goes in here? Open your own laundrette, maybe? It's yeah. a rotisserie thing, but there's no heat element. So where's the heat going to come from? The oven. James, this is the Roto-Q360, the world's first non-electric self-rotating <laughs> rotisserie. Cook smart, eat smart. Non-electric. Maybe it can go in the oven, but how, how does it rotate? Oh, is it wind-up? You're a wind-up. Kinetic energy. Stored with a winded twist. I missed you just saying random sentences. <laughs> <laughs> Got some destructions for you. James, you'll notice as you construct it, it means that it stores flat pack and therefore takes up minimal space. Guys, I think I've put it together. It doesn't require any electricity, gas or batteries to run. It's been engineered to fit into any home. If you own an oven, you can put it into your kitchen. Have you ever felt like you needed this in your life? Once we tried to make Peking duck, and you want it to hang in the oven. This might have helped. So you've chosen the basket there. You can imagine that's useful for any number of things from roasting coffee beans, nuts, seeds. Or playing bingo. Or tombola, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Utilising a gearbox that stores kinetic energy when the knob of the device is turned, three minutes equals one turn, and therefore the maximum number of turns is 20 and can give you an hour of cooking. What are we going to cook with it? Ah, glad you asked. OK, so you've now got in front of you all the ingredients you need to make our roast beetroot with spiced yoghurt recipe from our meal packs app. We're keen to see how the beetroot roasts in this spinny tumble dryer thing. OK, I have the app. Shall I go for it? Please. Cool. Like thousands of people have backed this, so the concept's obviously really strong, but personally, I don't know how much difference it actually makes to, say, a rotisserie chicken. Oh, we, we grew up with roast chicken, so that's what we know and love, but that's always done on a baking tray and is very different to roasting anything in rotation because it's much more even. The juice is kind of drip and self-based what you're cooking and then the excess drips into a tray. So they are different. I think we're more used to roast chicken in an oven on a tray. Goes in the oven, 200 degrees for 15 minutes or so. I think we should stress that the gearbox is particularly noisy until, of course, you put it into your hot sound chamber. It makes me think that something's like sizzling yeah. or like hitting the bottom of the oven, so just gotta remember that everything's fine, hopefully. Because we were so forward thinking, we crowdfunded two of these, and therefore we have another one in the other kitchen with chicken going round and round and round, and we'll compare both at the end. Do we solely back this one? <laughs> Are we the main funders? We had over 9,000 backers, we were two of them. <laughs> Does it work under... A grill, because that's what I'd be excited about. Using yeah. it under a grill, like the same, the same as the kebab. I guess if you've got space yeah. to put it under your grill. Yeah. yeah. Grubs up, James. Big day. Oh, hello. Ta-da. Ow. You've burned yourself more than once on that, haven't you, so far? It's a bit difficult when it's hot, because this is heavy. Oh, that works. I'm liking the kale crisps. Mmm. But even better if you had something in the basket that was dripping onto them. Yeah, it, it really lends itself to stuff that has its own fat involved. Meat, basically. So the beetroot is cooked. I'm plating it up with my yoghurt dressing, quinoa and kale. So the beetroot you've tossed back in that kind of balsamic oil seasoned dressing. How's it looking? Is it an even roast? Is it good? Is it bad? How's it working for you? It is definitely even. I think something like nuts would be really good because pine nuts you put in the oven and five minutes later they're black. If you're cooking like big batches of nuts or more likely coffee beans, that'd be great. Fancy, wholesome, yummy, and can be done with or without rotisserie. Well, Loving that. Well, while you're finishing that, we've also got a rotisserie chicken in the other kitchen. We'll bring in, we'll plate up and we'll taste them all. It certainly smells good. Well, that was easy. I am as excited for those potatoes in the bottom drip tray as I am for the chicken. They are calling me. This has done everything I would expect of a rotisserie chicken. It's really even. Um, 
it's really succulent. Breast looks great. What a good day. What a great day. Welcome back. You've got a really nice, even colour. Um, it's nice chicken, but the potatoes are incredible. That's why I went for that first, because they are better than what you could do otherwise. If I'm comparing it to a rotisserie chicken that I would buy from a shop, it's, it's as good, it's the same. But surely the best bet for that machine is over the barbecue, where there is one heat source covered at the bottom. I think all you have to do is remove that tray and you, cook, you can put it on a barbie. Yeah, it'd be great on a barbie. So we paid kind of the early bird price, the bundle price, and it was $99 for that with all of the attachments. If I had $100 to spend on kitchen equipment, I'd probably go for something else above this. But if you've got all of that stuff, then go for it. So is it a clever rotation or a strange creation? A clever rotation, it's a clever rotation. Well, it's over to you guys. Can you see yourselves backing any of these gadgets? And keep your eyes peeled. If you see other kitchen gadgets that are currently being crowdfunded,